Welcome to the Lotus Goddess Divine Love. Hi everyone, how's everyone doing today? Hope you're doing well and staying safe. Um, so I'll be doing a general reading and just keep in mind that this isn't a private reading. And welcome to everyone, welcome if you're new to my channel. And let's see what messages come through today. Okay, so for whoever this resonates for, um, this Divine Masculine, he has already made a decision. Um, he had to make a decision between whether to stay in his current situation. So where he's at, um, the type of um, lifestyle he's been living, he or she just take as it resonates. Um, the person who they were with, uh, in this reading, I see, I do see the karmic... Um, person karm karmic partner um this divine masculine he 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 started to really think about what he wanted in life um what he felt was important to him and is his current life reflecting the things that he's always um wished that he had for himself or for his future um i feel like um the family that he wanted to um the kind of lifestyle he wanted to have with the family of his own. Uh, I see here that this Divine Masculine, uh, he could not let go of, of the past. Um, it looks like that he was thinking a lot about the Divine Feminine, the love that they shared together. And it was his experiences with the Divine Feminine, the feelings that he shares, um, the love that he has for divine feminine i feel he it was very difficult to for him to continue on the current path he was in with this karmic energy um it looks like that he held on by a very thin thread and he knew that the love was um not there and this divine masculine he made a decision that it's best for him to um, separate from this karmic person. So once he came to that um, that decision, this Divine Masculine, um, it was a relief. Like this Divine Masculine, he, he feels, um, he didn't expect to feel this way, but he, he actually feels happy about his decision. Um, it kind of feels like, uh, I don't know why it was so difficult for me to make such an obvious <laughs> obvious um decision but um now that he's made it he's feeling like it's it's uh it's something that i've always known but now that i've made that decision now i feel like why was it so difficult for me to to make such an easy um choice um this divine masculine feels happy about the decision he's made um it looks like that he's also turned his back on the connection with this karmic person. He he doesn't want to speak to this person anymore. I see here that he's um, standing very strong in his decision making. He's trying to protect. He's trying to protect his heart. He's trying to protect the connection between um, you two. So between divine mask and divine feminine. Um, he's not in his full strength yet, but he, he's making those small uh, steps 
um, for something um, greater. So another thing I see here in this reading has to do with the karmic person. Uh, this karmic energy in this reading is very jealous. She's not somebody who... Um, I feel like this is somebody who is not really doesn't believe in a higher power divine god does not believe in um that what you put out there what you do will come back to you like this person feels that doesn't matter what i say or do to others um they feel like it will not um it will not harm them in any way like if if they hurt somebody's feelings they're like ah it's just it's just their feelings. It doesn't um, doesn't really affect me in any way. But there is a higher power. There is a divine. There's God. Um, and this uh, karmic person, they felt like whatever they did in the past, whatever they, they decide to do, um, that they could get away with certain things. But here and now with this decision that this divine masculine made to actually disconnect this is something that um came out of i feel like for this karmic they didn't really expect this they it was something that came out of nowhere like this is a karmic person who felt that they knew every kind of um step that this divine masculine would take they felt like they really knew uh, this divine masculine um i feel it's because uh divine masculine uh, what I'm getting is that he's very um, calm in nature. Uh, he doesn't really act, react um, when he feels that something is not right. Um, when the karmic person would say or, or do something, I feel like they, they kind of like let it, um, let it glow, go. Um, it's not that they, they agreed with it, but I feel like they didn't want to put the energy into something that they felt like would cause more um more like drama so to avoid certain situations to avoid certain conversations with this karmic person um this divine masculine remained very calm uh, so what i see here is that when this um this karmic person's jealousy really um really uh it feels like it grew and grew over time there was a lot of jealousy towards this um, divine feminine even if there was no communication between divine masculine and divine feminine just the thought of divine feminine bothered them that divine feminine is there like anything can happen they had doubts they worried um they they felt like anything can happen and there was there's nothing that i can can do to prevent it from happening so the only thing that this karmic person felt that they had some control or some say in is by holding the divine masculine and by um i feel like um making divine masculine do things that that they would be happy with or pleased with it's like i feel this karmic person um really um had some kind of like it feels like um being strict restricted um holding um divine masculine in a in uh close it feels like closed um not much room to move like um not literally but i feel like it's it's like even if you want to make a decision it's like he didn't have much strength or he didn't have much say in making that decision this karmic person didn't give this divine masculine enough space to do anything um it kind of felt like they put him in um some sort of protective it's not a protective thing, but for them, it's it's like I'm going to protect this divine masculine to prevent them from going outside of this um, dome. It feels like a dome, like something that will uh, keep the divine masculine in in a space where he's not able to make decisions for themselves. So what happened is that they didn't expect this divine masculine to make this um, this decision. The sudden decision to um, release the karmic person to um, disconnect themselves from the the relationship. They thought that um, because divine masculine is in that relationship or connection, um, just take it as it resonates. The kar remember, karmic person doesn't necessarily have to be a romantic um, relationship. It can be any any type of relationship. So 
but I'll read it as um, a romantic uh, relationship, but it's actually um, whatever the situation they're in, they, they were in it together, okay? Um, so I see here that they thought uh, the Divine Masculine uh, would not be able to make any decisions on their own. So I, I feel like the karmic is like, I got him where I want him to be. I got him um, in in my grip, in my in the palm of my hand, and I don't I don't feel like he will be able to. I feel like they feel that divine masculine will not wander. It's like I don't know. It's very strange. I feel like they they didn't want divine masculine to be free, and when this divine masculine made the decision, I feel this um, put this karmic person into some sort of shock. Um, they didn't know that the Divine Masculine had the strength within them to do so. But I feel that the strength uh, came, like it built over time. It was always, it always remained within the Divine Masculine. But I feel like um, because of the karmic energy that consumed his environment, um, it kind of like overpowered. I feel like overpowered the strength within the Divine Masculine. But when this Divine Masculine started to do a lot of inner work, a lot of uh, self-reflecting, um, releasing, uh, I see self-love here starting to pour into self, um, respecting self, self-worth, self-love. That's when he was able to build the strength within him to make that decision, a wise decision so that he can... I feel like free himself from that contained energetic space. Okay. So another thing is I see here that just the thought of the divine feminine, um, this karmic person there, energy um started to grow, grow, grow. I feel like um that that feeling of jealousy um and fear um uh, really consumed this karmic person. It started to um, it started to take away from this karmic person's um, dreams and goals. This karmic person right now in this uh, reading is showing that they are starting to have a lack of strength uh, when it comes to their connection with the karm uh, with the divine mask. And so this karmic person is feeling like they are losing that their grip. Um, they're losing that um, say over whatever the divine mask does. They realize that if Divine Masculine wants to step away, they can step away. This is the shock. This is the shock that's come in now for this karmic person. This karmic person is still um, consumed and tangled in, in that, that illusion that somehow maybe I can still hold on to this connection because they they are not willing to not only release, but it feels like they're not willing to not not even surrender. It's like accept. They're not willing to accept the changes within the divine masculine. Like this is not going to happen. This is not going to take place. Though divine masculine says he, he wants to move forward without me, but I've always been been there and and I should have some say. Like I feel like this karmic person feels that they are entitled to the decisions um, that the divine masculine makes. Like they feel that they are entitled to make decisions for him. Um, they feel that, yeah, it feels like an overpowering thing. But this divine masculine is like, no, I am my own independent being, my own self. And I can take care of myself and I can make decisions for myself. So this is beautiful because this divine masculine is starting to see, see more and is starting to um, respect himself or herself even more. They're starting to love themselves enough to make wise decisions that are best for them, do what's best for them, right? Not because of what karmic person says or what others have to say. They are going within. And I feel like a lot has to do with their own, um, their own feelings, their their self love, their self worth. It's about divine masculine finding self first. Ooh. 
Ooh, this is this is real good. <laughs> so what I see here is that with some time, okay, so I would say like maybe at least a couple months for this Divine Masculine, right? With some time, when he's apart, disconnected, completely disconnected from this uh, karmic person, this Divine Masculine is really going to, all that energy, effort, time, everything that he put towards this karmic person, he's going to put towards himself. And this is going to manifest, bring about a lot of positive changes for this Divine Masculine. I see that he's going to um, bring about a lot of abundance. There's a lot of abundance here for this Divine Masculine. And I feel like different aspects of his life. So his life is going to change. So what he is reflecting, what's inside is going to reflect on the outer world, right? So because of the self-love, pouring into self, respecting self, knowing what what it feels like to give and receive in return. Um, I feel like the divine is going to bring about blessings for this divine masculine. I see abundance here. This divine masculine, what was meant for this divine masculine in his life? It feels like his blessings were blocked by this karmic energy. And now it's going to be like a flow of like, as if the gates have opened and then the flow of his blessings, everything that was meant for this divine masculine is going to come in. And I feel like one after the other, one after the other, it, there will be a constant flow of manifesting, of blessings, of good things coming in for this divine masculine. It starts there. I feel it starts there. This divine masculine is going to um, focus on building is I feel like building his empire. This is a divine masculine who will start to come into his divine masculine energy. I mean, the highest form of his divine, like a king, okay? So he's going to come into balance, right? With the divine masculine, divine feminine energy within self. And he's going to continue to grow. This is a divine masculine who's going to start to focus on building um, stability for self first. And I feel like he, this is a divine masculine who also is, it's not, in the past, he may have been um, focused on material things, but this is somebody who is going to be, yes, he's going to have goals. He will want to have a nice home, home life, um, finances, that sort of thing. I feel like he, he is going to try to build himself now. It's like, I've been giving, I feel like he's been giving to this karmic person to fulfill their dreams their goals. He may have um, helped them out in some sort of way, like to pursue their dreams or um, whatever that their plans were in life. So now he's like, now that I'm putting the focus on me again, and really putting all that effort and hard work into me, I want to make the best of my single, I feel the singleness time, the single season, divine masculine, being Single, being able to focus on self, self-love, self-worth, worth, and also building his abundance. And the divine is going to shower this divine masculine with abundance. So it's not just finances, not just material things. It's different parts of, um, different aspects of his life that he will be showered with. I feel like good connections, good experiences, um, new friends, People of higher vibration, people who um, match on uh, the same, I feel like um, the energy, the same similar um, similarities, like similar goals that will help him connect to. I feel like there's going to be, it feels like, um, uh, feels like a web, but you know, like connecting from one person and then you meet the right person, they connect you to somebody else, that sort of thing. It's like... Um, Kind of like a networking sort of thing but this has to do with different aspects of his life it's not just the people it's the situations too i see here that the divine masculine wants a very steady loving home something that is balanced something that is peaceful something that has happiness and i feel like he has the strength within him to maintain a happy balanced home like he 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 knows that even if things are rocky even if things are not always you know happy and you know life 
things things happen in life right but he's willing to face it head on he's not going to run or back away like i feel in the past he may have done that but this is divine masculine who will be in his power he's like okay so maybe this month things are not working out but we'll make it work out like this is a divine masculine who's going to try to um instead of sitting here on divine feminine's porch waiting for divine feminine to open the door this divine masculine here in this reading he's going to make sure that he builds his own empire first before he makes it towards this divine feminine's doorstep so this is a divine masculine who's ready to build he's going to um slowly uh it looks like he's going to do one not not one step at a time i feel like he's gonna go for one thing first and then while that is in the works he's gonna go for it feels like multitasking so he's going to go for one goal he's like i got this thing going now i got this thing running whatever this dream is of his he's going to go back into what he I feel like the gifts within the Divine Maskin, the uh, desires within the Divine Maskin, which is placed in him because of the Divine. If there's something you strongly feel that you are good at, that uh, you've been blessed with, that uh, is, a, is a gift, this Divine Maskin is starting to recognize that, hey, I should utilize, I should work on this talent of mine, this gift, this uh, knowledge that I have and put it towards this, this, and this. So what he's doing, he is no longer, um, I feel like he's no longer distracted by that giving to the karmic, focusing on karmic all the time. Now that he's went back within, I see up ahead in this reading that this divine mask is going to work on this goal. He's like, I got this going now, right? Goal number one, your work in the works, right? Then he's like, okay, that looks good now good enough for me to kind of step away from it let it do do its thing but i'm i'll still keep an eye on this and it's like now i'm going to go for goal number two so this is a divine masculine who's going to start moving that's why it's it's showing here like i don't really see divine feminine um strongly in this reading i see this divine masculine really like this this is something Whoever's divine masculine this is, you should really be happy and proud of him because he's putting all that energy, that effort, that work into self, and he's going to be moving. This divine masculine, he's it's he's on a roll, okay? <laughs> this is a divine masculine who will be on a roll, okay? So he's got this going here, goal number one, right? Okay, it looks great. I feel like he's become a boss. <laughs> he's got things moving. It's like he's got it okay you're taking good care of yourself got it now you goal number two what are you up to <laughs> it's like he's he's really um nurturing it making sure it grows making sure it manifests and he has the strength within him he will have that um i feel like he will have that confidence that yes this is what i need to do and i'm just gonna go for it like that fear that fear the lack the worry whatever that this karmic energy tried to kind of like use to consume or to hold the this divine masculine down now that that thing will be cleared and released this divine masculine is like i'm just going to keep on moving right so he's like okay now goal number two what do you been up to okay you look good okay now goal number one back to you again so he's going to be in and out in a good way you know, not in and out of connections, but in and out of these goals, because I feel like he's going to be doing multiple things at one time, because he's so motivated at this point. When he gets to this point when with the release, because I see um, the release of the karmic that is going to lead him to these goals, to these like to the life that he wants to live. Um, it's going to lead him to what he's meant to do. And I feel like, um, I just see uh, a lot of hard work, okay? Hard work, I see clearing out the old. The old um, Divine Masculine will be gone. I feel like dissolved. Like that old Divine Masculine has has been let go. Like this Divine Masculine has come to a place where he's at peace with self and loves himself. And it's like now, it's like, hello, Divine Masculine, I missed you. Let's let's get moving. Let's, you know, 
let's get this started. Like, I feel like he's going to motivate himself. He's going to push himself. And I feel like this part of this um, Divine Masculine, I feel like Divine Feminine has seen the side of Divine Masculine before, prior to this karmic person. Um, before this karmic person, I feel like Divine Masculine was starting. And with this, the interruption, like we, I can, like I would like to say interruption, right, of this growth process of the Divine Masculine, the spiritual growth, um, which kept him, I feel, I mean, like even the karmic situation, that's part of his journey to grow. But um, let's just say it delayed, delayed where he was supposed to be, like delayed him from other things that should have um, come sooner. So it's going to bring him to who he was meant to be. And I see here that there's going to be a very uh, new, new start, a new beginning for this Divine Masculine. Um, he's going to consciously make good choices for himself. This includes um, who he is surrounded with. So new friends, who are these friends um, or company, the circle, the social circle. Um, he's going to make sure that he is surrounded by um, good, loving, um, I feel like truthful, uh, people with integrity, people who are hard worker, go-getters. Um, he wants to align himself with people who are similar to his, um, similar to his uh, way of living energy. Um, it, it will help him become more motivated. I feel like he knows that if I surround myself with uh, similar or like-minded um, people, that it's going to help me motivate myself to um, continue to keep on moving and continue to do the things that I've always wanted to do or what I meant to be doing. Um, I see here. Oh, I do. I do see you here, Divine Feminine. You are hiding, but I see you in this reading. <laughs> so, oh, this is nice. So what, what I see here is that this Divine Feminine is also going to be um, bringing about good things in their life. Um, they are. It, it has already begun. They've been in that, um, I feel, in that energy of good manifesting, like positive things. Um, but I see here that you will be also growing in abundance in different aspects of your life. Um, I feel like Divine Masculine is going to try to energetically he's going to try to catch up to where divine feminine is at this time so that's one of the reasons i feel that he may be feeling more motivated and driven to do things for self is because he's feeling the energy of the divine feminine who's already in that um, higher vibrational energy so you are actually the higher you raise your vibration the more focus you are on self-love self-worth and um, making a better um a better life for yourself as well like different parts aspects of your life um that is also um being felt by the, the divine mask and so it's in that way energetically you are motivating and um you have kind of like kickstart that that motivation that drive in that divine mask and to move forward to um push through this karmic um cycle for i feel like it's if what I'm getting is for all once and for all so there's a number of things um this divine feminine um is working on you have a lot of things on your mind don't don't worry so much <laughs> don't don't worry so much if this is you um I feel like you're you're thinking a lot um you may be thinking a lot um before you go to sleep um yeah, you need to uh, take care of yourself. Be mindful of what you're thinking. Um, focus on the positive. Uh, if you're thinking about something a lot, um, I feel like most likely whatever that thing you're thinking about a lot is something that wor is worrying you. Um, it's saying here to clear that thought, clear your clear your mind of anything that can be um, that can um, be a little bit of like draining your your energy so even when you think about like for example if you're thinking about something any any specific thing constantly 
and you're worried about that one thing, um, it doesn't necessarily have to be about divine masculine, but whatever it is that you're constantly thinking about, um, try not to do, especially when before you go to sleep. Um, it's showing here that there's a lot of things on this divine feminine's mind, but um, yeah, there. Oh, and there's something about past as well. Something about your past and something about you wanting to make something happen, but you're not sure if if it's the right time or or uh, if if you should do it or not. Um, there's still a little bit thing. There's still a little bit of a and. I'm not sure, like a uncertainty about some kind of decision that you're trying to make for yourself. It's showing that you are trying to find some kind of clarity. You're kind of undecided about something in your personal life. Saying to go within, um, ask, um, be a little bit more focused, um, focus on your intuitive knowing. Um, sometimes when you think too much, the thoughts become a distraction that you're not able to uh, know what your intuition is telling you. So it's like your thoughts, you're thinking about something that worries you is kind of like um, blocking you from hearing your inner knowing, from understanding what you need to do or what needs to take place. So in, in that part, I feel there needs to be a little bit of a balance there, right? 